what up? It's your boy Zo Cartier. You already know. Um, for this tutorial, it's pretty simple. Something that a lot of people always ask about, and it's like mad simple to do. So I'm gonna pretty much just walk you through it. Um, literally, it's masking and tracking. Now you're probably wondering, hey, why would you use masking for? Well, let's say you have um, you have a layer, and you want to separate it from the rest of the video right so what you would do you're going to want to go ahead and mask it what i would tell you to do first of course go ahead and duplicate that layer so you can have doubles of it and then you're going to mask the top layer and then of course from there you're going to be able to go ahead and control that layer and think of a way think of it like this it's you separating it it's you making that separation so if i have a dope artist that i'm recording um, and we'll get to these more intensive tutorials of masking and tracking and rotoscoping. But for this one, it's mass simple. It's just masking. It's just going to use the pen tool. You're going to go around the item or whatever it is, the subject that you want to go ahead and mask. And then that's basically what's going on in this case. Of course, you're going to right click the mask and you're going to click track mask. And this is basically where we're at now. And as you can see, I was able to go ahead and track it and then mask it backwards. And then of course, when you take the layer out, when you disable it with the eye icon, you're able to see what you did and what you masked out and if it's to your liking. And another thing it's you're probably gonna hear it later on in the video as well too. I'm pretty sure I touched on it. Try to use the least amount of points so that way um, your computer or your laptop is not using a whole lot. But as you're going to see throughout the video, it's going to get much more simpler, much more smoother. Well, this is basically the fun part. This is where we will mask out and track his face, as you're seeing right now. Um, you got to start off with the pen tool. Of course, you're going to see as we're doing right now, we're going to map it around the head, make sure everything is covered. I didn't really go to make it all that perfect. I just try to cover his face to censor his face. And of course, the effect that you're gonna use the moment you censor his face is gonna be the mosaic, which you'll see. But even before that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you track it. So as he's moving, it's following him. And as you can see, you can just right click, track mask, then you're gonna just click forward frame, which is basically tracking it on each frame and you want to make sure in between you're going to want to make sure you're fixing it you kind of saw how i messed up right there but you can see how easy it is to adjust it on each frame i would honestly recommend you go to each frame and you adjust it you can't just rely on it following it but in the meantime as you can see yeah that's basically what it's going to be doing at this point you can kind of even go backwards as well too to track it backwards as I did. I think I, yeah, I started off from the ending and then I'm tracking it backwards. So as you can see, as it's going, it's following his face as well, which is dope. 
you would really like to do stuff like this if you want to blur out an address or a street corner or certain products in a music video or anything. But it's mad dope. I like doing it a lot. <clears throat> the technique is basically just masking. Um, you use the pencil, you draw around whatever you want to blur out or mask out, and then you track it. It's very important that you track it. That's how it looks clean. And that's what you're going to see is the end result. At this point, it's literally just tracking it backwards, like taking your time doing it. So by like taking your time doing it, you're just going to make sure that it's going smooth because it could easily just like mess up and it'll just untrack it. And then of course, you're always going to want to go ahead and play with it. Um, by bringing the playhead back and forth to make sure that it's basically to your liking and as you can see when you click the eye you can see what was tracked as it's playing back and forth right there um and then there you go you get to see how to track how to track the mask around so let's say you wanted to go ahead and blur something out that's how you do it mad simple and of course, in this case, what you're, what you're also going to be able to go ahead and do, at this point, you're pretty much able to go ahead and also put on any other um, effect on top of that because you basically masked it out into its own layer. So in this case, as you're going to see, that's exactly what I'm looking for at this point is the mosaic effect, which is basically how you go ahead and censor certain things. And then the moment you add it, it's going to be mad dope. Because then when you unblock the layer underneath, which is why I always duplicate the layers. So that way, when you're masking out the first layer, you have that backup layer to also show. So that way, when you do put on that effect, it's not just looking like this, just the head. You're going to be able to see the background as well, too. Um, other than that, though, it's pretty straightforward. You mask it, you track it. That's the most important thing, uh, masking it and tracking it. The more dots you put when you're masking, the longer or the more power is going to consume when it's trying to go ahead and um, when it's trying to go ahead and track it for you. So be mindful of that as well too. So if, just in case if you're wondering, hey, why you made the box shape? I just try to use the least amount of points that I could use. Um, that's not even a box shape. Yeah, <laughs> but you get what I mean. And then of course, when you add it there, of course, you see the dopeness is starting to come out. Add your little sauce on it, and it's gonna come out the way you want it to. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy Zo Cartier 305. Yeah.